Before COVID-19, 44-year-old Alvaro Barreto would make nearly $80 a day as a driver for ride-sharing apps. Colombia's lockdowns forced him to stop working, and he relied on his savings to get through it. It has been two months since he could pick up rides again. This time, he chose Chinese ride-hailing app Didi. With other apps, they take 25% commission, and Didi only takes 10%. It's very satisfying for me, and customers don't take a hit. Latin America is Didi's biggest market outside of its home base, China. Brazil, Mexico, Costa Rica, Chile, Colombia, and Panama all have this ride-hailing service. In Colombia, these platforms have weathered their share of controversies as national lawmakers try to regulate them. But the pandemic has been creating new opportunities. Public transportation is only operating at 50 percent occupancy to help contain the spread of coronavirus. Users of ride hailing apps say they find a sense of security from social distancing. They have the vehicle to themselves. My biggest interest is peace of mind, and what brings me that peace of mind is not riding a bus, because a bus driver is looking to transport a large amount of people. I feel safer. They give me antibacterial gel before getting in the vehicle. Ride-hailing apps like Didi have set to deploy safety gear for its drivers. Alvaro Barreto says Didi offers him cleaning stations for disinfection every eight days. While COVID-19 did present challenges for Didi and its competitors, ride-hailing companies may be able to expand their market share as the economy reopens, if they can convince more customers that they are the safest option. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogotá, Colombia.